you guys know I talk about coming up in a poor place in a spot that didn't have a whole lot of resources. Now, to be fair, my mother and my father um, were educated and I had some social advantages over other people and I had some values that some people didn't have. But overall, money and things like that for me, it was quite difficult to come by. And, you know, I was coming up in my early 18, 20s, stuff like that. I can remember being out with some friends one day and um, this person drives up at the mall has a just really, really, really nice car. And I'm thinking to myself, damn, man, this is a nice car. Older guy. He was a white guy, too. And um, I'm thinking to myself, like, man, that, that that's a car. That's a nice car, man. I wonder what this guy does for a living. But the guys I was with, they was like, man, fuck him, man. You know, he, he, he white, man. He probably, you know, doing something illegal or, you know, just it was coming up with negative excuses as to why this person had this car. And I never understood why these niggas was talking like this, you know, and, and but. And that's not even all. Sometimes you would go in the nice neighborhoods. My mom would take me over there, let us see some nice houses. You know, we couldn't afford it, but she would just drive me over there. She said, you're going to live over here one day. We would just, and, but we, we always was mesmerized to know what do these people do? And my thought was, I want to be like these people one day. But, you know, some niggas, this is a black show. When you are doing well, are doing better than they are. The problem is never them. It's always you. Now, ain't that a bitch? Don't that sound crazy? Um, person A, who is successful, did everything that they were supposed to do in their life, put in the work, adjusted to situations, this is important. That means what you thought was going to work didn't work. So you adjusted your situation to make it work, to become successful. Person B, who does the things the way that they want to do it, even though it doesn't work, even though it yields no result, but feels that the world owes him something, is mad at you. He pocket watches you. He talks about you. He wonders and asks questions about you. When he sucks. This is interesting. Um, and I'm bringing this to light because I had a conversation with a YouTube friend of mine who's doing better than me. He's been having this issue in another part of the community on YouTube, not in the black community per se, but he's been doing very well. He takes time on his channel. He edits really, really good videos. He pr produces really good content. He's very consistent. He's doing very, very well for himself. He does really, really good job with engaging his subscribers. He does what he's supposed to do. He gets great mentorship. And because of that, he executes. And it shows in his numbers. Let me go back to that. He executes. Therefore, it shows in the numbers. But there's a, some dummy out there that's mad about the numbers. Denying that the man had to execute to get there. All because he think he should have it. He feels he deserves it. So instead of being intelligent about the situation, trying to learn what is it that this brother is doing that I can do myself? Instead of being a punk and sitting here hating, instead of, you know, let me find out what he's doing. Because after all, this is a big enough space where we can all eat. Uh, we don't have to be competing, especially this is the white man's platform, let's be honest. Um, there's enough room for me and you and whoever else. Hell, we can share best practices and we can both get good together. But because this person is such a hater, he goes around wasting his time trying to tarnish somebody's name who is executing 
properly. Clipso, Oregon, I'm really preaching. Clipso, Oregon, I'm preaching. And see, whether you know it or not, you are going to come across this type of Negro ass shit. Not being negative. I'm just letting you know. You might not experience it today. You might not come by it tomorrow. You might not get it next week or next month. But like somebody said, further on up the road. Here come a motherfucker. That's not doing what you're doing. That's not putting the work in that you're putting in. Not sacrificing like you're sacrificing. Not investing like you're investing. And the motherfucker is going to have the enough nerve to feel like he deserved more from you than what you're putting in for himself. Although he throws shit up against the wall and hope that it sticks and you are calculated and you are doing well in your life. But see, this is what's wrong with a lot of people in our community, in the black community, especially around black men. We feel that you don't deserve it. Especially with black men. We got that bad. Other black men and, 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 some, and brothers, we got to be honest with each other. When we look at each other and some brothers doing well, tell me sometimes you don't feel like this nigga don't deserve that shit. Why well, I don't have it? The fuck you got that for? You ain't looking at the time that the person put it into it to do what he's doing. See, think about that. That's how people get scammed. You go over to Africa. You go over to the Dominican Republic. The people never think about all the hard work it took you to save up for that vacation. Hmm? Because they're not being successful and they're doing bad. And you go over there, they're trying to rob you and scam you. Why? You don't deserve it. You don't need that. Then they try to make themselves feel good by saying, oh, he'll get it back again. But they're not even looking at the hard work that you put in to get over there, to do what you're supposed to do. And see, that's what some niggas don't get. And a lot of times you lose sleep because you might be a great person. I'm trying to get everybody to win. I'm trying to help all kinds of people, man. I'm trying to under, I don't understand why these people hate me. Like, like what's going on? And you know what it is? Because some people won't deal with the biggest issue in their lives themselves. Because see, it's easy to blame other people as to why you are fucked up. You're not performing. You don't want to deal with yourself. It's easy to say, man, why is somebody fucking with him? Whoever fucking with him, they lames. They losers. You know, because you spend all your time hating on successful people. See, that's easy. See, when you ain't shit and ain't about shit and then everybody knows it. See, because people tell you that you fucking up. You don't want to hear that. But, but, but it's easy to go around talking shit about somebody else who's actually doing the work. But see, one thing I love about problems, just because you ignore them, they don't go away. See, you, you like that? See, in 2011, if you wasn't shit, you can talk about me all you want. You can talk about Jesus all you want. You can talk about Leroy down the street all you want. And you could even be right. But if you don't fix yourself in 2019, if God lets you live, you going into that motherfucker not being shit. That's what I do know. Oh, I know that because whatever problems you got, can't nobody fix them but you, nigga. And you can sit around all day if you want. Talking about what other people have and why they don't have it, why they don't need it. They, you, this person copied me. They did this. They bit my, they biting this person's stuff. They do, but what are you doing? And that's a reg uh, regressing motherfuckers language. A person who ain't doing shit regressing, they got time to talk shit about other folks. Because that is a stupid Negro trait. It is a hater trait. A hater, a broke nigga, no talent trait. That is what they do. And some of y'all wonder why. I don't I don't get this. I don't because, like Cat Williams says, that is their job. To be completely unsuccessful, no talent fucks. That is what they are, thank God for. 
and 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 the deal is 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 they got to come to terms with their lack of work ethic, their lack of talent, their lack of creativity. That ain't nobody's fault but yours. Because, see, there is what they call mentorship. See, some people think they know everything and they got it figured out. If you're not getting your results that you want, you don't got it figured out. You need help. You need to do something different. And see, that's the problem that a lot of you niggas don't want to hear. But see, that's why y'all, I saw some of y'all were fucked up. And again, you are where you are right now. There's a saying. Because five years ago, whether you know it or not, you planned for you to be where you are. So if you ain't shit, you planned it. That's what happened. That's what you deserve. So I just want to say that, man, you know, I definitely apologize for anybody who hurt and feelings. I really don't give a damn, but that's just really it. So again, watch these folks, man. People hating on you or maybe you hating on somebody else, that ain't got nothing to do with you. You the one that still got a problem, or they the one that still got a problem. You need to be trying to find out what somebody is doing to get successful, instead of sitting around hating on somebody all the goddamn time. You need to be figuring out what somebody else is doing, instead of sitting about being mad all the time, like a little punk. That's all I gotta say. And as you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. I'm out.